It is exactly three days before Thanksgiving. So today I have planned some fun, thankful, and Thanksgiving themed activities. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Today is November 19, 2018. It is exactly three days before Thanksgiving. We have two days with the students this week, so that counts today, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday. Wednesday is the teacher work day, and I'm actually taking it off, so I have a nice five-day weekend because of the Thanksgiving holidays. So today, I am doing No Makeup Monday, so I get to enjoy my all-natural self, and I can't wait to share some of the activities that I have planned for the students today. So I have to see how many do show up because I know for a fact that three will definitely not be here and I have 20 students. So let's see what happens today, but I do have planned some activities that are also holiday themed in the spirit of Thanksgiving and being grateful and all that jazz. So I can't wait to show you what I have planned for my students. I have to actually go downstairs to sign in because I went straight to my classroom this morning when I arrived. So I have to go sign in and then I'll see you probably during my break if I do have one today. I hope I have one today, but if I don't, I'll definitely catch up with you sometime later today. See you later. The students are in art right now, and this morning we were able to work on our thankful ABCs and answering different questions about what we're thankful for. And then I read an awesome, awesome book called Giving Thanks, which is this book right here. And I absolutely love this book. I got this book many, many years ago. I try to see if it was on Amazon, but actually I think it's out of print. So if you want a copy, it's gonna cost a lot of money. It's like a used copy is like, I think around $30 and a hardcover copy is like 50s. And that's a lot of money, but it is a beautiful story. And I'm just so happy I have a copy of it. So I was able to read it with the students and it's a Native American good morning message. And basically they say this at different ceremonies and celebrations and and they give thanks to different things and we listed on the board a web to show all the things that they were thankful for according to this message and then after that the students are now engaging in their top 10 things that they're thankful for and then from there once they're done they're gonna write on their thankful trees all those things that they're thankful for so this top 10 things that they're thankful for acts like a little brainstorming activity so that they know what to include when they actually start writing their thankful trees so let me show you that right now which I already showed you some clips of the students working on my thankful top 10 so that is what they've been working on let me just show you my copy and then i'll show you my thankful tree template and what we're gonna do with that so here is my thankful top 10 that i started working on i started working with number one and two and then i'll make my way around this is a sheet that i created myself very quickly and i gave them 10 different sections and i did put numbers around them i told them they could treat it like a actual top 10 list where they put on number one what they're most most thankful for and then the second thing they're most thankful for etc until they get to 10 so that's what we did and this is the web that we created this morning after reading giving thanks and these are all the different things that they were thankful for in the Native American good morning message and that was absolutely beautiful the students loved it so this is what's in our agenda for today the students worked on their thankful ABC's which you also saw little clips of and on the back of that it was a thankful for activity and then they got to party we read giving thanks and right now they're working on their top 10 thankful things and then eventually they'll get to their thankful trees if not today definitely tomorrow art I am giving them recess after art then lunch now some of our math time will probably dedicate to finishing our top 10 thankful things and our thankful trees or we can just do it tomorrow so I'll play it by ear in social studies we're going to talk about the true story of Thanksgiving and then in science we're going to work on creating the three types of rock magic book so that's basically what I planned for today let's see how it ends up being and yeah now I'm going to show you the thankful tree template 
this is the thankful tree template that I was talking about. I created this myself as well. I added the lines. I have two versions of this, one with the lines and one where you can just glue an index card into the space, similar to my summer short story. And then they write their name here. So they cut it out and then it becomes part of our bulletin board display. So that is our thankful trees. And I did copy them on cardstock so they're nice and sturdy. So there you have it. That's what we're gonna do today. And I can't wait to continue on with the kiddos for the day. And tomorrow we'll continue. There's another book that I will be reading with them and another fun activity that involves art and writing that I'm gonna have them do. So yeah, that's what we have planned. All right, so now I'm just gonna work on a couple of things during my planning time and I'll catch up with you later. Like you just saw in the previous feed through, I was able to change our area model spiders into our factor turkeys on our bulletin board. So I took all the spiders down, which I can either give back to the students or just file away in their work folders because those were for a grade. And now I put the factor turkeys that were finished I couldn't put all of them up right now because there's still students that need to finish them and there's some students that still need to make some corrections on their factors. But these are the ones that had all the factors. There is one that doesn't have the factors in any type of order, but all the factors are listed so they do get credit and that's why I put it up on the board. So these are the ones that are up right now. Here is a close up of the title for this bulletin board along with the standard that it addresses. And here are the factor turkeys that I did put up on our board for now. And yeah, I totally ripped part of the paper when I was removing the spider web. My bad, it kind of hurts me, but you can cover that by putting something else there. But yeah, these are the factor turkeys that were completely finished. And now I'm just gonna wait for the other students to finish there so that I can add their turkeys on this bulletin board as well. I also forgot to mention that I am wearing today one of the shirts from Lipstick and Littles and she's going to have an amazing sale this Saturday, which is Small Business Saturday. So if you're not following her, you should definitely go to her website. I'll link her down below so you can join her mailing list and she's going to be having a nice sale. She's going to have limited shirts available. So if you're interested in grabbing one of the shirts, definitely head to her site. Also follow her on IG. I'll leave her IG address below so you can see the updates that she makes. She usually posts them on her stories or in her IG page as well, but I am wearing one of her shirts that has the acrostic going down showing teacher and all the different things that a teacher is. So that is the shirt and I absolutely love it. So if you wanna give her a follow, support small businesses, definitely check her out. And also don't forget to check Lily Pop. I'll link her down below. This is one of the Lily Pop lanyards that she makes by hand. These are clay beads that she actually makes. And this is my first Lily Pop lanyard and I have four more underway, so I can't wait to get those and I'll definitely show them here on this channel. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. Oh, and I forgot to mention the thankful ABCs came from Rachel Lynette, so I'll show you a close-up of that paper right now. This thankful ABC paper, like I said, comes from Rachel Lynette. She is a tpt -er, so I'll link her TPT store down below. This was a freebie, and on the back is where I printed I am thankful for. There was a little typo, but I just told the students to scratch off the extra R, and they get to fill out the rest of it. So that is what we did this morning for our do now. All right, I still have 30 minutes left in my planning time, so I'm going to probably organize some papers and get some things ready for this afternoon, and I'll check back with you later. Hello, everyone. It's now the end of the day. The students were just dismissed. I finished doing my bus duty, and we've had a really good day working on some fall and thankful activities. We were working on our math mystery pictures, and also the students finished their top 10 things they are thankful for. So I want to show you some of their examples. I think they are doing a really good job. Some of them just need to finish tomorrow, which they'll do it during do now, along with the do now activity that I have for tomorrow, but check it out. I'm just going to show you some of their thankful papers that they created so you can have an idea of what they were working with. They actually did a really nice job. I'm very proud of them. And I really emphasize the use of color. They definitely have to color their background. That is something that I teach them and that I expect from them. So they always have to make sure that their background is colored, not just their picture. And as you can see, some of them still need time to finish, which is okay. And yeah, this is the last one. 
and let me show you mine because I did finish mine so let me get it and this is mine these are some of my top 10 things that I'm thankful for obviously there's more but these are the ones that I included on this paper then we went over the math mystery pictures and they worked on two of them so let me show you what that looks like this is from math mojo I talked about this TPT store during my Halloween activities I bought the Halloween math mystery pictures from Math Mojo, and I went back and I bought the fall and Thanksgiving mystery pictures. So these are the two that I gave to the students to work on today, and they review division with remainders. So this is how the pictures look. As you can see, they work on their problems here, and each box represents a color. So depending on what the answer is, they have to find that answer in the boxes up here and color that box according to those colors that each box represents. So these were both on division with remainders. This one is a turkey and this is how it looks. So this is mine. And this one is an autumn tree and that's how it looks. Now obviously some of the students did a nicer job with marker and that looks really nice, but I didn't want to waste the ink of the marker so I mostly did it with crayon. This one called for a dark brown so I just used my brown marker for the dark brown part and everything else was in color. I'll link this TPT store down below if you're interested. The author does have different ones. There's also a Christmas and winter themed holiday one that I'm thinking of getting also for the winter holidays. But that's basically what we worked on today. We didn't get to our three types of rock magic book. We'll get to that tomorrow. And that's basically what we've been doing today. The speech and language pathologist did come by with some of her students to drop off these posters that they made and they would like for us to display. And they help with students who may stutter. I don't have anyone in my class that does, but just in case they want to use these strategies, they can. So this is a poster that they created, which goes over all of these different strategies to help with stuttering so that we have fluency when we speak. And I thought this poster was awesome. So I'll be putting it somewhere in my classroom for the students to have access to if they would like. So that has been my day for today, Monday, and I'm going to sign off for today and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, 2018, and it's the last day that we have with the students this week. Tomorrow is a teacher planning day, which I am taking off, and then Thursday's Thanksgiving, and Friday is Thanksgiving recess, so I will not see the students again until next week, Monday. So today I have planned some fun, thankful, and Thanksgiving-themed activities for all subjects except science because I we're still trying to do the rocks magic book that I planned to do yesterday and I didn't quite get to it. But today I wanna show you some of the things that I am planning to do with the students before they come in. They're coming in in about 20 minutes or so and I do have to run downstairs to make some copies. But let me show you one special book that I'm going to be reading today with my students, which is a book that was highly recommended all over IG in the teacher Instagram community. And I finally got myself a copy and it was delivered last night through Amazon. I did purchase it on Sunday and I paid a little bit extra to have one day shipping, which it arrived yesterday. I'm very grateful because the book is awesome. So let me show you what that is and also what I'm planning to do for math today. So here's the book. The title is Balloons Over Broadway, which talks about the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and how it came to be and how Tony Stark basically was the one that started designing all the beautiful balloons that we still see today. So it's an inspirational story and I'm planning on having my students, after they read the book, design their own Thanksgiving Day balloon and write about it. So that's what I'm planning to do for reading today. For math, I'm planning this activity, Plan Thanksgiving Dinner, which is a resource by the Digital Divide and Conquer. And it is a project-based learning activity and it goes through having them plan a Thanksgiving dinner. They're going to have a budget of $100. I'm gonna write the budget number in here. So this is what I'm gonna be making copies of right now. And what the dinner must include, some conversion information, how to meal plan and budget, the food planning, etc., and they're going to write all of that down and have it all tallied up by the different parts of the Thanksgiving meal. 
And basically this was an amazing resource that I got last night. I saw Ladybug Teacher Files sharing it and I immediately went to this TPT store and grabbed it so that I can do it with my students today. I think they're gonna have a lot of fun doing that. So I don't have any actual real grocery store ads, but the PBL does, which is Project Based Learning, does include a grocery store list with prices, but I want them to also use their laptops. So maybe in groups, they can use laptops so that they can look up online store ads from local grocery stores to kind of get actual deals or prices for their Thanksgiving meal. They're gonna have a budget of $100, so they have $100 to plan a delicious Thanksgiving meal. So I am curious to see what kind of meals they plan. So that's what we have planned for today, along with my magic book for the three types of rocks, which is coming. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And let me go get some copies and I'll see you later. But before I do, let me show you my t-shirt for today. I showed it before, but this is from the Right Stuff Chicks. I got it at the Teacher Heart Out Conference and it says, Teacher, I prefer educational rock star. And of course, this shirt was designed by Chelsea, hipster art teacher, and is a collaboration between her and the Right Stuff Chicks. All right, so I'm going to go get those copies now, and I'll see you later. It is now my planning time. The students are in PE right now, and this morning we have been working really hard on finishing up our thankful trees. It's taking longer than I expected, and mostly because we didn't get to start them yesterday, and I wanted to do that math activity that I mentioned earlier today, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it done completely because I know it's gonna require a little bit of time, and I want the kids to finish their thankful trees. So I'm trying to juggle between what I do. But so far, what I have had them do is they use the paper for their top 10 thankful things that they started yesterday. And then I had them look back at the book, Giving Thanks, how they started and how they went on to thank the different things. So we're using that as our inspiration to writing this paragraph of what we're thankful for. So on the board, I went ahead and I wrote the sentence that the book starts with, that's their introductory sentence. And then I went ahead and I created three more sentences that were inspired by that one so that I can show them different ways. And I told them not to copy mine to make sure that they wrote their own. So here is what I show them on the board. So the first one, like I mentioned, is the sentence from the book. And then these are my three examples of ways to start their thankful tree so that they can list the different things that they're thankful for. This is the thankful tree pattern paper that I gave them. Again, I made this myself. I printed it on cardstock paper and the students are starting to write their tree. So let me just go around so I can show you the ones that are already going over it with the Sharpie pen they are already pretty much done. I already conferenced with them, I gave them my feedback, and they went ahead and made revisions as needed. So as you see, I have students already writing their thankful tree writing, and we're working on it, it's a process, and yeah, they have to go ahead and go over all their words with a Sharpie so it can stand out because once they are ready to color, it'll stand out what they wrote, and I told them to use a light color to color their trees, and that they could use whatever color they want. I do have a student here that is completely done and another student here that is completely done. So yeah, we're slowly making progress. It's just, it takes time for them to come up with their ideas and then to make sure they write. And then I'm conferencing with them one-on-one -on -one to give them my feedback so that they make sure that they include all the parts that they need to include in their paragraph. Topic sentence, detailed sentences and a concluding sentence. So that's what we've been working on. I mean, I could very well tell them, you know, that's all for today. We're gonna go ahead and start our math. I'll probably just do that. But we haven't even read our book that I wanted to read, which is Balloons Over Broadway. So I may just put a pause to this activity for now, read Balloons Over Broadway when they come back from PE and have them design their Thanksgiving Day balloon. And I think for that one, I'm not gonna have them do any writing for that one. I was going to attach a writing assignment to that one. I'm just not going to. I'm just gonna make it into a fun activity where they get to design their balloon and maybe they can write a sentence or a caption as to what it represents or why they chose that balloon. Maybe make it that simple, just because I know it's gonna take a lot of time if I have them design a balloon and then write a paragraph describing their balloon and the reasons why they chose that balloon. But they're already doing some writing as it is, so, and the book is amazing. So I just wanna make sure I read the book and have them design a fun, 
Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon of their own. And then we can dive into our planning a Thanksgiving meal, project-based learning activity for math. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, all right. So when we come back, I'm just gonna collect our trees because the students that are not here today, which is six students that are not here today, so I only have 14 students today, all of those six students do have to make their thankful turkeys next week because I am attaching a writing grade to that, which is part of our language arts. All right, so let me go ahead and continue working on my planning time. I have a lot of things to do, people. It's crazy. So many things to do, and I have no idea where to start, but I'm gonna do it little by little. So I'll catch up with you probably at the end of the day. See you then. It's the end of the day and I did not get to the project-based learning activity for math and I said, you know what, the students were having such a good time designing their Thanksgiving Day Parade balloons and I wanted them to do a good job with that. I didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to stop it and I decided, you know what, I know next week is after Thanksgiving, but it'll still be a good idea to do that project-based learning activity next week. So I'll probably do it as, I don't know, a pickles activity because I can't substitute what we're supposed to do in math because we're already behind. Or I can just donate the activity to another class. I just overplanned and that will happen. I thought that it was a great activity. I thought I was gonna be able to have time to implement it, but the truth is I didn't. I should have stuck to what I had planned originally. I saw the idea last night, like I mentioned previously on Instagram and I thought that it was wonderful and maybe we could just go ahead and do it. But what I had already planned was already taking up most of the day. And the students really enjoy the book. They love the story. They love looking at the video of the new balloons that will be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade this year. I went on YouTube and I showed that to them and they were excited. They were even excited to find out that the Macy's Day Parade people actually get their designs. A lot of them get the designs for the balloons from kids. So they're like, oh, is there any way that they could like see our designs? I'm like, you never know, because I wanted to kind of showcase some of the designs that they created. Some of them did finish, so I wanted to show you the ones that are done. And then I wanna show you some of the ones that are still a work in progress that are not 100% done. And they're coming out great. These are going to go outside, so I'm gonna take our gamma graphs from Veterans Day down, and I'm gonna put these up, at least the ones that are done, and as more students finish them, I will put the other ones up. So it's a very great project, and they really enjoy doing it. So here we go. So I did end up going over a sheet that I created with the top part being the picture, where the picture goes of the balloon, and I did remind them to draw their tethering of the strings because they're balloons. And then I had them write a very short, persuasive kind of letter to Macy's, letting them know what they recommended for a new balloon for their Thanksgiving Day Parade and some reasons why they recommended it. So here's one design. Here's another one. Here's another one. I'm just gonna go through all of these papers so you can kind of see them. And the last two are just mine. I just happen to have them in here, sorry. I actually just wanted to show you the students, but yeah, this was my example. I first typed it so I can give them an idea of what they could write, and I drew it. And then I went ahead and I recommended one for my own drawings, my own imagination, and that is what I wrote as the reason. Now here are the designs that are still a work in progress. The students are trying to finish them, but here's one. Here's another. I had a couple of Simpsons fans in here. And of course, Fortnite fans as well. And SpongeBob fans. So there's another Simpsons. That is a cute little pumpkin pie. This is also from Fortnite, and he was uh, doing the different parts of this particular character. Here's a minion. And they love Beyblades, so of course they want a balloon to be featured for Beyblades. And one reason is that in aftercare there was a Beyblade tournament and they won. 
So they want this to be one of the balloons. So I thought that was really cute. So as you can see, they really did a great job and I really wanna showcase that. And it was a great activity to do and I'm so thankful for the recommendation of my fellow Instagram teachers who recommended Balloons Over Broadway. Beautiful book, there's so much you could do with it. You could even do a STEM activity where you have the students actually build a balloon using balloons. I've seen a couple of teachers do that as well. I just didn't have the time for it and just having them design and write this, I didn't even have the whole class finish. So I just kept it a little simple, but you could definitely do so much more with this one book. All right, so I have a couple of things to get done before I actually leave for the day, like I mentioned before. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the paper piles that are on my desk and around my desk, and maybe plan for next week, leave my lesson plans all ready to go along with my copies. Don't know what time I'm gonna leave today. Right now it's 3.30. I'll give you an update by the time I do head home. So I'll see you later. All right, everyone, it's been a long time since I have been here in the classroom since I last saw you. Last time I saw you was like 3.30, and right now is 8.30. So I have been here for five hours, but I have been really productive. I updated all of my grades in the grade book. I'm only missing maybe one grade per subject so that it's ready next week for progress reports to go home because next week we're already halfway through the grading period. And I cleared most of the clutter off my desk and the table behind me, which is another work table that I use. I do have some stacks of paper on my kidney table on the side, but you know what, it's okay. And the big stack of paper that I had in the front of the classroom, I pretty much emptied it and sorted those papers where they needed to be. And I only left the papers that I'm going to need for next week. So this is how my desk currently looks. So here it is, I organized everything and these are pending assignments. This is a calendar that I'm starting to keep because I wanna keep track of when I assign assignments and here's how my computer area looks i do have to take my hard drive with me i always do this is like my little kitty bag that i got from amazon and this is where i keep my hard drive and this is my back table it's all cleared that's where all my teacher editions are this looks really really nice i'm so happy this is cleared off you all don't understand I also used to have a lot of bags and stacks of paper down here, so I cleared that up and over here as well. So this whole area looks neat and clean and organized. And over there, those papers are the ones I'm gonna use next week, and that's where the big, big piles of paper were. Those are bags of things that I bought that I wanted to do a little shopping haul on. Don't know if I come in tomorrow and do a quick little video for that shopping haul, or maybe leave it for next week anyway but i am so happy with the progress i've made and i'm happy that i updated all those grades the only thing i didn't get to do was to create my lesson plans for next week or my copies for next week but i'm not even going to worry about that i'll just plan at the comfort of my home what i'm going to do next week i already have an idea we're going to start off on monday with a lot of ketchup and pickles assignments they need to catch up on all this work that i found that they hadn't finished so i need them to make sure that they finish so i can give it a grade put it in the grade book and be all updated so that's basically all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this two-day vlog during Thanksgiving week. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day. I hope you have a beautiful Thanksgiving holiday with your family. And don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.